Bio Uno makes a ton of batteries in a ton of sizes. They know what they're doing when it comes to radio batteries. And this video is gonna kind of prove that out. I went with a three amp hour battery just to keep it up with, number one, I already had the battery. And number two, to keep it up with all of the rest of the batteries that we're testing in this series right now that I'm working on. And if you wanna last longer than the amount of time this battery lasts, just buy a bigger battery. Size matters, folks. Let's get into it. We are back at the radio test bench with the FT817. This time we are going to be bringing you the BioNO battery. And this is a three amp hour battery, as you can see right here by my thumb. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna power this radio off of that battery and see how long it lasts. And you can see it ain't coming on because there ain't any other power source. So let's get this thing plugged into the back. And you can see we've got the BioNO battery and it is running its power cable down here. And it is plugged in to the Windcamp ADP1 adapter. So I can't stress this enough. You do need to deal with heat management because we're gonna be putting six watts out of this radio for quite a long time. So I wanna keep this thing as cool as possible. Let's get her turned on. And we have 14.3 volts. We've got a fantastic amount of power. Let's get our software fired up and let's check to see if we're in tune. And we are in tune, excellent. And we are decoding. Fantastic, all right. Radio and battery and tuner are happy. Computer is happy and it is 9.39 a.m. Let's do this. And we are dark. Let me turn off the uh, cooling device there. And th that cooling device works really well. There is, let me get this out of the way. There's a little metal heat sink right here on the back side of the radio and I'm just blowing cold air across it and that gets rid of all of the heat and it, I kept it at six watts the entire time. So this is the logbook from today. We've got today's date grepped out. Let's see what our contacts quantity was. 30. We made 30 contacts in our time period. Now let's go see what our time period looks like. Okay, so this is where it gets really interesting. I started at 9.39 a.m at 14.3 volts at idle, at receive, and 13.1 volts during transmit. I guessed it was gonna take about an hour from the previous video's notes. And I am absolutely blown away by how long this thing lasted. I actually was watching it when it turned off. I went over to take my 1216 note and that's exactly when it died. Two hours and 37 minutes. So it lasted longer and it should not have and I can't figure out why. Two and a half hours worth of FT8 out of a three amp hour battery, not bad at all. If you, were to, if you were gonna convert this over to sideband work, this thing would probably last you longer than you felt like calling CQ at six watts. So enjoy your radio, enjoy your battery. Size matters, folks. Get the size that you want to last as long as your activation needs to last. But I've got some notes for you, so hang on. <sighs> Danger glasses off. So I'm not 100% sure what happened with the battery there, but I am happy that it did happen. At six watts output power, this battery should not have lasted as long as it did. Maybe my original calculations were messed up and it was two and a half hours for six watts and we got less performance out of the 3000 milliamp hour batteries than we should have, I don't know. So help me out. If you guys know why the 3000 milliamp hour batteries at two and a half watts perform differently than the 3000 milliamp hour battery at six watts, I would love to know what we're, what we're doing wrong in our math and then we will carry forward because I still have more batteries to test. The, the timestamps and all are 100% accurate. The estimation is wrong and that's what I need to figure out. So hopefully I can get some help from you guys. Otherwise, there's a video right here I think you'll enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.